Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's going on, fifth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. This is video number 14. At this time, I'd like for you to go ahead and complete number one and number two on your own. Throw down your best, show yourself what you've got, and then you're gonna come on back to check your work. If you need the worksheet for this episode, there should be a link below or somewhere around this video that will take you to my website where you can download the worksheets for this series. Go ahead and try number one and number two, and then come on back to check your work. Welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at number one. So right away, I'm going to identify the question type. I'm seeing five answer choices. So this is probably going to be what kind of question? Yeah, a multi-select. So jot that down if you did not already. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and read and break down the text. This says, Vaishal has two and one-third gallons of water. So two and one-thirds gallons of water. He pours three-fourths of the water into a container. So like another container. How many gallons of water does he pour into the container? Select all. That means we're going to try all that apply. So to do this, I'm going to get a piece of paper because when in doubt, I always draw it out. So we have somebody named Vaishal. Say, hey, Vaishal. <laughs> and he has some kind of container that is filled with two and one third gallons of water, okay? And he pours three fourths of the water. So he's taking, if this was broken into fourths, he's taking a fraction of the water. And of right here also means that we're multiplying. So what we're gonna do is multiply three fourths times two and one third to figure out how many gallons of water he pours into the container. So he's taking that just so we can model it and pouring it into some kind of container. All right, so now that I know I'm multiplying, let me go ahead and multiply the two fractions. So we have two and one third times three fourths. And I know that when I'm multiplying fractions, I just fly across and multiply. We break that down a lot in McCarthy Math 155, so stay tuned to all the operations that you do when you're with fractions, when you are working with fractions. Okay, so because I need to fly across and multiply, I wanna do that, but I have to do something with this whole number first. So to do that, I'm going to multiply, then add, Shwoop. And that's a little McCarthy math jingle for what we do when we're converting from a mixed number into a fraction greater than one. So three times two is six, plus one is seven. 
So now we have 7 thirds, which is the same. It's equivalent to 2 and 1 thirds. We're going to multiply that by 3 fourths. And now we just fly across and multiply. So 7 times 3 is what? 21. And 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 21 twelfths. Is that an answer choice? It is right here, isn't it? Okay, but we could have more than one answer. Now, we're, we know it's not gonna be 10 twelfths because right now our numerator is greater than our denominator, which means this is a fraction greater than one and it can also go back into a mixed number with more than one whole. 10 twelfths is less, it's a fraction less than one, so we can eliminate that. All right, now let me go ahead and convert this back. So I do that by dividing. So 12 goes into 21 one time. When I subtract that, I get nine. And then I'm gonna go start it from the bottom. Now we're here on top. Ooh. And my denominator was 12. So one and nine twelfths is also equivalent. Do we see that? We do right here. All right, it's one and nine twelfths and 21 twelfths of a gallon. It can't have two holes because we only had one hole right there. So we can eliminate D and E and have our final answers be B and C. If there's any corrections that you need to make, take the time to do that now and then join me for number two. All right, everybody, so here we go with number two. First, let's identify the question type. I see a grid right there. So what kind of question is this? It's a gridded response. Jot that down if you did not already. Okay, and now let's go ahead and read the question. It says, what is the area? Area means for a rectangle that I'm multiplying length times width in square units of this rectangle. So my length is right here. It's two and one fourth. My width is right there. It's one and seven ninths. And I just need to multiply them. Okay? And again, when we multiply fractions, we just fly across and multiply. But because we have a whole number in front of both of these, we need to convert it into a fraction greater than one. So let's do that. Multiply, then add, swoop. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. Nine fourths times multiply, then add, swoop. Nine times one is nine plus seven is 16 ninths. All right, now we can fly across and multiply. Well, I know that I'm gonna have to do nine times 16 kind of over to the side, but I do know what four times nine is. What's four times nine? It is 36, good. And now let me take 16 times nine over here. Nine times six is 54. Nine times one is nine plus four is 14. So 144, 144 36 in fifth grade, we also know that we should simplify whenever possible. Now, I think that if you put 144 slash 36 or going the other way too, that it would be correct because it's going to be an equal value. But when I am teaching fifth graders, I'm always telling them to reduce your fraction. I know that both of these can be divided by 12. So let me start with that. 144 divided by 12 is 12. 36 divided by 12 is three. Ooh, and we can even go more from there because 12 divided by three, because remember that this fraction bar really means divided by. So 12 divided by three is four holes. So you can put your four right there or you can put your four over there, but don't put it wandering in the middle. Four. I believe that any value that's equivalent to four that you put into the grid should be marked correct. But just to be on the safe side, I always tell my students to simplify their fractions down to the lowest terms. All right, if you know that you need some more practice with multiplying fractions, listen, I have plenty of videos just for you. If you enjoyed this video, but you'd like it broken down maybe a little bit slower so that way that you can understand it and you're getting awesome practice, join me now for some more videos. So first you want to check out the link to McCarthy Math 155. This jam-packed high energy video series is something that teachers are using every day in the classroom because there's 
basically a video for each day of the school year. This is a math intervention program like no other. So if you know that you need help, you need to check out McCarthy Math 155. I made it just for you. For this particular skill with multiplying fractions, I'd love for you to check out Unit 6. Unit 6 has all the different operations with fractions, so just find the ones for multiplying fractions and you'll be good to go. Now you do need to become a member in order to access the videos for McCarthy Math 155, but everybody is welcome to a seven day free trial to check it out and to see if it works with your learning style or teaching style for teachers. And teachers, just so you know, these videos are something that you can share with your students. I walk you through how to do just that in the tutorials tab on my website. All right, the next link that I'd like to point out is to the how to pass the math FSA video for the same standards that we worked on today. This was a series that I created several years ago back when the math FSA was a computer-based test. Because it was a computer-based test, the questions, some of them, looked a little bit different. So as you are watching those videos, just take into consideration that if it says something like drag and drop, Obviously, you can't drag and drop with your pencil, right? Love for you to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram at McCarthy Math Academy and on Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. Of course, I'm here on YouTube as well at McCarthy Math Academy. While you're here watching on YouTube, if you could smash that like button, that would be super amazing. Not just because it makes me feel good, but because really I'm on a mission to help as many third, fourth, and fifth graders as possible. So when you smash that like button, you're really helping me to reach more and more students to create safe places for them to learn. So thank you for that. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And I will see you all on the next episode. Bye guys.